Okay, my name's John J. Winkowich, and I was born and raised in this small rural farming community in Montana called Cutbank. Um, it was wonderful. I had fantastic parents and spend the summers helping my brother irrigate on the farm. And um, My dad is just an amazingly virtuous person. I look up to him. He, he was definitely uh, someone who planted the seeds of goodness in my soul, and my mother as well. She was a nurse, worked at the local hospital caring for people, and my parents gave me more love and more, they just implanted the virtues in my soul in a way that I am forever grateful for. So I went to college first in Washington State and I, I arrived at campus and I was stunned. I was just stunned at the moral decadence that surrounded me, the relativism, people so much smarter than I was doing things that were just utterly ridiculous and destroying their lives. And I was like, what is going on? My parents gave me this, this good treasure that I, it gives me so much joy and so much happiness. And I don't understand why everybody around me is throwing away their lives in these worthless pursuits. And I realized, okay, what my parents gave me, it was, it was good and it was wonderful and it was beautiful, but it, it was not enough to, to sustain this attack as being just, faced with in college. So it was a tough decision, but I ended up dropping out of college, threw away all the scholarships I had and went back home to Montana, worked with my brother on the farm. And then August 15th, I decided, okay, I need to find, I need to find a foundation for this goodness my parents gave me. I need to find so much more goodness. I need to find a truth underpinning all this goodness so that I can confront society and and offer them this goodness my parents gave me. Um, so August 15th, I, <laughs> as ridiculous as it sounds, I kind of locked myself in my basement and read about 15 hours a day from August 15th until Ash Wednesday of the following year. And I, I was very open-minded, I guess, at the beginning, because I just started with the Bible, went to the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, the Dhammapada, the Upanishads, um, worked my way through all the major world religions, just trying to seek goodness you know, seek the truth that was behind this joy my parents gave me. And I, I looked at a lot of philosophy, moral philosophy. I, I read a lot of Aristotle, Socrates, Plato, these ancient Greeks who'd been around for so long. I talked to a lot of pastors in my hometown. And at the end of the day, I, I found it. I found so many good and beautiful things in all the world religion, so many natural goods. But whenever I found something good, I could find it in the Catholic faith was like the, the summit, the fullness of all these beautiful truths I've been finding. My whole life as a Catholic really has been, it's been one continuous prayer since I was baptized in 2001 until up to the present day. It's been praying that God purify the church, that he sanctify it, that he raise up an innumerable army of saints so that the world can see the beauty of the truth and the goodness my parents gave me and the happiness that comes from that. Like, well, how does that happen? How are people made holy. It's through the sacrament of confession. How are people fed with the goodness? It's through the grace of the sacraments and all of a sudden it clicked and I just wanted to be nothing more than a conduit of God's grace so that he could purify the church and make it holy. One of my favorite questions to ask people actually is, tell me about the happiest moment in your life. What has been the happiest moment in your life? And the answers I usually get to that are, well, the day I got married or the birth of my first child or the day I was ordained or the day I proposed to my wife. And I just started thinking about all these happiest moments of all these people I've met, and I realized, wow, as a priest, I get to be part of all those moments all the time. It's like living a life where you get to be part of everybody's happiest moment. If you're watching this, you're thinking about becoming a priest, probably because you're on this vocations website, clicking on little videos to listen to people talk about their vocation stories. I just wanna invite you we have wonderful things going on here in the Diocese of Madison. We have 32 amazing guys studying to become priests here. It's, it's the front lines of the culture war and great things are going on. So, um, yeah, if you're thinking about it, stop thinking about it. Contact Father Renze, the vocations director, and come join us. <laughs>